Hey everyone, and welcome to my channel. This is my first uh, video that I am filming, and I'm super excited. Um, I have been a Erin Condren planner, let's say for about two years now, and I get in this habit and I do really great, and then I fall off the wagon and I don't plan. But I am a planner-minded person. I need organization. I need to-do lists to make my day go right. Um, I'm a working mom. I have four kids under the age of 10, and my job is super time-consuming. I travel between three locations in my state, um, and every day is different. So I need to come up with a system that keeps me organized and on track. So this year I've committed, 2020 will be my year. I will be consistent with my planning. I will be consistent with my health. I'm just trying to get myself in a better place, mind, body, and spirit. So that starts with this beauty. I picked up the Erin Condren 2020, starts in January, because I want to start fresh. Um, I picked this layout, just something super pretty, but also just um, blank note title on it. Um, and my goal right now, and my plan, is to plan everything in this life planner. And then I do have a planner for work that I will transfer my week stuff to. It's just something smaller that can stay with me in my computer bag. But this will be my life planner. It'll track everything that my kids have going on. Um, and yeah, I also have uh, the Erin Condren Deluxe Planner coming that I will do all my budget stuff with. So you guys will see that too. So today's video, we are going to do a quick walkthrough. I'm sure all of you have seen the Erin Condren Life Planner, but for those of you who have not, we'll do a quick skim through and then we're going to set it up. So as you know, they all come with the ruler. The first page is the name page. I went with the hourly layout and I just printed this really simple sticker with my name on it. It's got uh, the quote pages and then it jumps right in to the calendar view for the year. It's got um, July 2019 all the way to December 2020. So obviously I won't need these months but that's fine. I'm not going to cover them up either. Um, lots of people I've seen in the planner community print a sticker and kind of cover up what they don't use but I'm just going to leave it blank. Um, then we have this page, and lots of people use this for um, goals, or there's 12 boxes. You can use it for 12 goals. You can use it for work. You can use it for um, intentions and gratitude. I'm going to use it for birthday tracking. Um, part of my goal this year also was to be better at wishing my family a happy birthday. So um, I went out, and I bought... Um, birthday cards in advance for everyone in my family from Dollar Tree and I put stamps on them already so I have no excuse and I'm going to put everyone's birthdays out on here for my family and then at the start of the month when I plan out each month I'll have the birthdays listed here for a reminder of when I need to send the card so that's kind of what I'm thinking right here and then each month has a blank page in front and then this quote page and then it jumps into a dot grid and then these monthly pages and it's got already written down recommendations of how to use it birthdays monthly goals just kind of some lined paper and then dot grid down here I haven't decided exactly what I'm going to do with the, this dot grid paper um, that's a hard one but I might end up creating some kind of sticker to put over it. Um, we'll see. I'm not much of a bullet journal. Lots of people can doodle on here, and I'm just not crafty enough to doodle. But um, I will be transferring my birthdays over each month, and I will have monthly goals probably for YouTube and um, Etsy, and then we'll see what I use here. I might do some kind of um, books I want to read or books I did read. We'll see. So then it jumps into the monthly view. I love the neutral layout. Um, it's, I love the colorful ones, but I feel like you can do a lot more with the neutral. Um, so yeah, this is the, the January view. 
and then it goes into the hourly. So it starts at 6 a.m., goes all the way down to 9 p.m. The new um, Erin Condren 2019-2020 has the date um, calendar at the bottom, which I love, and then it's got the sidebar. So I will probably be doing my meals down here. I'm going to do an a.m. and p.m. Um, routine check off at each day, so I'll probably have a little reminder down there each day. So yeah, every month kind of follows the same suit. And then in the back at the notes page, you open up into, you get two lined papers, and then you have two more lined papers. I'll go over this in a second with you guys. You get some dot grid papers, color pages, and then this kind of hexagon um, tracker. Lots of people do different things with this. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. And then you have contacts, which I will actually be using this year. So let's go back to the first page. So I made a quick what's for dinner. Um, I'm going to kind of spruce it up with some stickers here in a minute, but I wrote down just the basic things I make a lot. So when I get home from work, I don't have to really think about it. If I have chicken out, I can go to this and I always have stuff on hand to make this kind of stuff. So chicken, I have salsa chicken, chicken enchiladas, barbecue chicken sandwiches, which I do in the instant pot and it takes like 15 minutes and they're amazing um, from frozen chicken. And then chicken fajitas, which I also do in the Instant Pot with frozen chicken. And then chicken and broccoli casserole. So then I have some crock pot recipes. Soup. We're going to do a Sunday soup night. So every Sunday I'm going to do soup. And um, then I have our family favorites, which the kids, it's kind of like our go-to. When I don't have time to make something fancy or big, I'll just go to the family favorites. So I then decided what I'll do over here. So far it's blank. So on this page, I did a little what to read. Um, my goal this year is to just suck in all of the self-help and um, motivational self-development books, podcasts, you name it. Um, so I'm going to start tracking all of that. I have a whole list um, in my Amazon cart that I'm going to write out. And then as I finish them, I'll write the title here. Um, but I, I've seen this on the planner community for a while now, and I just thought it was such a great way to use this page. So, books to read, my little bookcase with some books. And then the color pages, which honestly, I never use. So I might tear these two pages out. Although I do kind of want to use this page. So... My husband and I are on a debt-free journey this year. Um, hopefully get it done this year, but it might go into the next year as well. But we have the um, five debts. So this kind of works exactly perfect. We have my student loan. Um, we have one credit card. We have two car payments. And we have Home Depot on the appliances on the house that we are currently selling. So once we sell the house, then that will take care of, hopefully, some of these will be left with the two car payments. But that's kind of our goal this year, is to just really throw in everything we can at our debt and just start living a little less stressful. Um, so I think I will put in our debts here. And maybe on the lined page here, I'll do like a third, like little debt tracker where I color it in as I pay things off. Um, I've done that before, and I really like the look of that. We will see. So here's the contact page. Obviously, you just put in your contacts names. I'm going to put in all of my family members, and this will be a quick reference from me when I'm mailing my birthday cards that I'm going to mail for my family. And then it goes into this next year view, um, 2021, which is great. And as you're planning, you can start to jot down things that you need to remember, like if there's a wedding. Um, you know, in 21, that you need to write down the date and just start planning or a vacation that you you need to save for. You can kind of write those here. So in the back of every planner comes with some stickers and I'll use some of these. Um, we'll see. My goal is to utilize all the stickers that I have before I buy more, but I'll be doing weekly plans using the planner Kate stickers. So I will be buying four kits a month. That's kind of what I'm going for right now, and we'll see if I do the monthly. 
right now I just kind of made my own monthly that I'll start using um, and I'll show you guys those when I do the monthly plan with me but they're just real simple um, okay so let's get started I'm just gonna do like I said I already did my name page I printed it I'm gonna tell you right now I do not have pretty bubbly handwriting I have yeah my handwriting's not cute but it works it's legible so that's fine with me so we're gonna do I'm gonna do my kids school calendar here on this page so I got these um, colorful circles and these are by Erin Condren and they're transparent and then they also have some that are just so there's blue ones and pink ones and then they have the ones that are just silver, rose gold, and gold. So I'm going to do my kids' days off school as well as like paydays, I think, and maybe vacation. We'll do vacation on some of these. So let's get started on that. I printed off my kids' school calendar, um, so I had a reference. And we are going to just start in January. So, of course, it's winter break right now. Today is Christmas. And I feel like, honestly, I feel like my kids are never in school. Um, I have four kids. Two of them are in grade school. And two of them are younger. So I have, okay, so I have a nine-year-old. And I have... A almost eight-year-old. My daughter turns eight on the 31st. She's a New Year's Eve baby. And then I have a four-year-old and a two-year-old. So I am busy and working full-time um, doesn't make that easier, but I really like to work. I've tr I tried to stay home and um, I, I enjoyed that year. I stayed home full time with my kids. I loved it and I miss it every single day. But when I was home, I missed work. So it's like one of those catch 22s. It's like, okay, I want to work. I want to provide and I want to feel like I'm doing something important, but I want to see my babies grow up. And right now I feel like I pay a lot of money for childcare to, um, you know, have someone raise my kids, which I know it's not like, you know, that bad. It's not like they're raising my kids, but there are days where I feel like I only see my kids for like an hour. You know, we wake up, we do the, the rush to school and then, you know, I get them on the bus and drop off and then I go to straight to work and, you know, it's always on a day I work late. So by the time I get home, my husband's picked them up, fed them something quick and easy, and then we're just like getting ready for bed, doing the bedtime routine, doing homework, rush, rush, rush. And it's just, it goes by so quick. Like my daughter is turning eight in six days. And Gosh, I just, I still remember when she was a baby, obviously, it's just crazy. So, I'm in this weird phase where part of me really wants to stay home again. And part of me knows, one, we're on this debt-free journey and I make a really good living. So, I feel like I just need to suck it up. Anyways, there's my vent for other moms out there. I'm sure you know the struggle. So right now I'm just still putting in all of their days off. And as you can see, they're like never in school, but that's public schools for you. And that's fine. I could not be a teacher, I think. Okay, I tried. I tried the year I stayed home. I homeschooled my kids, which still is my, ultimately my goal. If something were to happen with my work or if we could financially figure it out, I would quit and I would homeschool my kids because the schools are getting crazy. Um, I'm not going to get, you know, political with this, but <laughs> there's just a lot of things going on in the schools that I just don't agree with, and not to mention bullying. It's so, so bad these days. It's like, I know you cannot protect your kid from everything, but 
I really want to try. <laughs> Anyways, okay, so this is the last day of school, and then they're off, and then they're in full-time daycare. So those are the school days. We're going to open this back up, see what else I want to do. Um, we're going to do paydays, and I think I'll do light green. So my husband and I get paid on really funky days. Um, he gets paid the 7th, and I get paid the 10th, and then he gets paid again on the 22nd, and I get paid the 25th. Of course, if any of those days fall on a weekend, you get paid the Friday before. So, there's days where we're paid on the same day, but it's not, it's not very common. Um... So when I'm talking budgeting with you guys later, you'll see that one, I don't do a monthly budget. I do a budget by paycheck. Um, it just works for me. There's something about my brain needs to track it by the paycheck based off true numbers, not guesstimations. Um, so I'll show you how I do my budget, but it is by the paycheck and I do two a month and I mark it off as I've paid it, and then I kind of jump into sinking funds and cash envelopes. This year we're going to try to be a lot more um, consistent with using cash because, oh, that's going to be hard. I don't like that. I don't want to stick it over. We'll just do the 10th. Um, when you have cash, there's in your brain, there's just this emotional attachment when you use it. Um, you're, you're giving, you're, there's this exchange with cash, they say. Um, whereas if you use a card and you just swipe it, then you don't really have this emotional exchange that you've lost anything. And we work really hard for our money. And so I'm trying to do a lot better with pulling cash out, tracking certain categories. And then this year, I'm also going to be doing sinking funds. Um, for those of you that don't know what sinking funds are, they are when you pre-plan for something that you're going to buy or need to spend in the future. So <laughs> here we are, Christmas Day. Man, it would have been nice to have, a, you know, cash saved for Christmas Day for me to shop. And I never do. I always end up waiting for my bonus to come, which literally comes the day before Christmas or if I'm lucky, like a couple days before Christmas. So then I have to like, use my husband's check because he gets paid first to go buy Christmas presents knowing that I'll get my bonus. And honestly, I'm kind of want to save my bonus and pay off debt with it instead of every year to use it on Christmas. So I'm going to start sinking funds for Christmas and start saving every paycheck, kind of put something away. Um, and then I'm going to have a due date of Thanksgiving. We all know that Black Friday, even though I don't go out to the stores, I um, shop online because I have four kids and that just doesn't sound fun to me. Um, but Cyber Monday is also a really big deal. So I'm going to try to have a due date of my money by that weekend so I have the cash and I don't have to stress. Not to mention, you guys, I don't know if any of you were a procrastinator like I was this year. I did not finish shopping until yesterday. Christmas Eve. I was still going out shopping. <laughs> so um, I really just want to get it done and over with and even wrapped and put away like in my closet or whatever. Um, like last night I stayed up for from 7 to 10 <laughs> wrapping presents for the kids and then you know what, that's over in half hour, an hour if you're lucky. We tried to have the kids stretch it out and take their time. But yeah, I mean, all that hard work, you're just seeing scraped off. It's like, oh my gosh, next year I might just use bags <laughs> and then I can reuse them. That's actually a good idea. <laughs> use a ton of bags for a majority of your stuff. You're only buying tissue paper and then you just reuse it every year. And they already have the kids' names on them. <laughs> we'll see. Um, I think right now if you go out and buy like wrapping paper, it's all like 70% off, 75% off. So I could like load up on Christmas bags. Anyways, 
that's an idea. Okay, so we're still doing paychecks. Um, hopefully I have enough of these colored stickers. It might start transferring into, yeah, see this is like a little bluer, bummer, but that's okay. I don't mind it. It's um, not that dark blue color, so I know what is what. So this year, we only have one big thing planned so far, and that is we're going to Disneyland in May. So this first week of May, we always go Sunday through Thursday. We are loading up the kids and driving. We live in Oregon, um, near Eugene, and the drive is about 13 hours, but we, we stop. So we drive about, so we drive from Oregon, leave around like eight or nine in the morning, load up the kids. We have a DVD player in our Suburban and we go. And we usually stop at um, Redding, California, which is about four and a half hours away from here. And we let the kids, um, we gas up, of course, and then there's a Chuck E. Cheese in Redding. And so we get pizza and we get the kids out of the car and they run around and get some energy out. And then we load them back up in the car and usually they zonk out for a nap for about two, three hours, depending on. And then we drive another four or five hours is all. And we stop halfway, stay at a hotel, let the kids um, swim. If it's still, you know, warm, it's May, we'll see by the time we're there. And eat dinner, go to bed, wake up the next morning, and then Disneyland is only like three and a half hours away. So it's super doable. We actually prefer to drive. We've flown once. Um, I just, I am a nervous flyer. I do not enjoy it. There's something about ever since I had kids, the anxiety I get when I'm on an airplane. Once the kids are on the airplane, then my anxiety is like, okay, I can't control this. Um, I just don't, I don't like it. There's something about getting them in the car. They're all in car seats, except the two older ones who are in boosters. Locking them in, putting on a movie, they got snacks, we're good. Um, so yeah, we drive and people think we're crazy, but that just works for us. We've gone four times now. Um, we try to go every year. It's our favorite, favorite, favorite place um, to go. It just, it makes us happy. So I'm excited. We are going in May. So I need to start a sinking fund for that. So here's this. Um, I like it. And I'm going to do a little key. I've seen this on the planner community before. So lots of people are covering this side up with like a sticker page and then writing their key out. But um, I've seen a few people take these that come with your order. Find a quote that you like. Oh, I like this one. Don't give up, great things take time. I need to remember that. Um, and then I got these um, coil clips um, from Erin Condren and there's three sizes. There's the two, four, and six inch size and then they just, you can coil clip anything in. So they, I'm going to do the two inch ones. Sorry here. And this is a great deal. I actually got this off Amazon because I really wanted to do this um, and not wait for Erin Condren shipping. But there's a lot in here. There's 12 of the two inch, six of the four inch, and four of the six inch. So it was 20 bucks. I thought that was a really good deal, honestly. So here's this. And I think I'll write, I'm gonna stick it on this side. Yeah, and write on this side. So these are the two pens I really like. Um, I use the G2. 7 or um, 0 0.05. This is a 7. And then I like these um, Pilot Friction. I actually use the, this is a 0 0.05 fine point. Um, and I use the 0 0.7. This is new, so we'll see how I like these. I think I'm going to use my G2 for this though. So we did this blue color for the kids' school days. And 
I did this like green color from Payday. And then I'm gonna do vacation. Let's see, what's a pretty, what's a fun vacation color? Let's do pink. Hot pink? No. Actually, I'm gonna do purple. So, first week of May. We leave Saturday. Ooh, that's actually darker than I thought. Oh well. And we get to Disneyland the third. The hotel we're staying at has a like a water park. It's really cool. It's got bunk beds. And um, that's cricket. That's gonna annoy me. Um, so it's got bunk beds and two queen beds in the room. And the bathroom, here's a mom thing, it's got two showers. So you walk in and there's the sink and then there's one on the right side, there's the bathtub and toilet with the door. And then on the left side is like this awesome stinking walk-in shower. Um, I think I'll just cover up this payday one because I get paid the next day anyway. So, okay, so that's Disneyland. And I'll probably track my vacation days in here as well as holidays. What's a good holiday color? We've done, I feel like we need to do an actual pink for holidays. There we go. So, no school days. Payday. And vacation. Holidays. Okay, so there we go. And then you just take the clip connector, you see this, and I'm gonna peel off the sticker. And let's see if I want it to look at it this way. Go like this. So. There we go. Okay. So then this will just clip right in. Perfect. And then um, I'll have plenty of room to add any other days I want to track, but I like it. Okay. So this page, like I said, I'm going to do birthdays. And I have these. Okay. So these were a three pack that I got through Ann Condren. I used the September in one of my planners and I'm gonna go find it after this video because I want to use this um, I have gold but I just think the cut like the stickers I'm gonna put with it to track birthdays they're all silver and I want to stick with the silver theme so I need to either buy another set and just get September um, or I'll go find it so we're gonna do birthdays at the start of these so January I feel like this year just flew by um, and I look back and I just remember like everyone's birthdays and it feels so bad like it takes a few minutes to send a card and for whatever reason you know we always have the excuse in life that we're just so busy but I feel like everyone's busy and to get a card in the mail always makes me happy so do I want to go this way? January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August. Or go this way? We're going to go this way. So I thought it was kind of fun. I went to um, Dollar Tree yesterday. Their cards, their greeting cards are actually really nice. And they have them for all occasions. Brother-in-law, sister-in-law, you name it. And they're two for a dollar. So... I just got my immediate family, so I'm not doing like cousins or anything like that. But, um, because like the nieces and nephews, we will um, actually send them a present, or usually we go to a birthday party and bring them a present, so we don't need a card. But I'm talking more like my siblings. Um, I'm the youngest of four, 
and my husband is the youngest of three. So between my siblings, his siblings, and then our in-laws, I just want to get better at saying thank yous. I also picked up um, thank you cards, blank thank you cards. I almost forgot if I went down or across. Um, so when I get things or the kids get presents, that's the other thing, is sending thank you cards when the kids get presents. Um, okay, so September. So I got a pack, a couple packs of blank thank you cards as well. And, you know, I spent, let's see, $7 for the year. That's including stamps to put on them. It's like, just do it ahead of time, have them ready. So I got a little basket to put them all in and I'm just gonna start being better with this. This is my year to be organized and consistent. So, okay, I like that. So then I got these stickers. They're Erin Condren as well. And this came in the planner, I believe. Let's see. And I just pulled them out because I don't like wasting stickers, so I pulled them out of my other planner. Yeah, so I have more. Anyways, so we're going to do that and kind of decorate this up a little bit. So we'll do this little birthday cake guy. And... We'll just do a few on each page. So you'll have to tell me in the comments how you guys use this page. Um, I've seen it for a lot of things, but I think pretty commonly people do birthdays. Um, so yeah, tell me below in the comments what you've been using them for. And hopefully this helps inspire you guys. Oh gosh, that one tore. Some of these kiss cuts aren't like all the way through. Okay. Like, simple, perfect. Okay, so I've already done that one. We're just gonna spruce this up with some of these fun meal stickers though, just to kind of give it some color. So if you think, I'm trying to talk kind of quiet because my kids are taking a nap right now. So um, three of my kiddos still take naps. My daughter is going to be eight. She needs naps. She is a very busy body and she needs them. But she does obviously at school, she doesn't take them, um, which is fine. But we... <laughs> When we're home on weekends, especially this is Christmas, they work up at 5.30, I think. That's what time they said they woke up, and they were ready to go. Um, so, yeah, they definitely just needed to take a break. Okay, did I use... I mean, there's some duplicates that I could use, but I don't really want to do that. So, yeah, that's good enough. Okay. So, in this page, we're going to write in... Um, the debt. And I should have got some, I think I might write or make a script sticker or debt tracker here. That's actually, I'll just write it and color it in. So we've been um, kind of following the Dave Ramsey plan for about a, oh, half a year, six months. And obviously, so Dave Ramsey, if you don't know, is um, his plan is grouping all of your debts, smallest to largest, making your minimums and anything extra, kind of throwing at your debt. Um, he doesn't worry about interest rates and it's called the snowball. And then of course he makes, like the key is living off of a budget. Um, 
So I'm going to do the same thing here. Um, our smallest to largest. So, so our credit card is Best Buy. And then school loan, which is Nelnet. I think I was going to type uh, right in the total, but since obviously we're paying them off, I don't, I'm not going to, I'm just going to do this and then like color them in with my mid, um, with my mild lighter highlighters when each one's paid off. And then we got Home Depot. This one made me so mad. So we bought our house a year and a half ago and we got, um, we don't have a Home Depot card, but my in-laws did. And they're like, hey, just, we'll put it on our card since you're buying the house. You know, when you buy a house, you can't make large purchases anyway until you're close. And we wanted to order our appliances. So we put the, we bought a washer and dryer, a oven, and a dishwasher and a refrigerator and a microwave, overhead microwave. And we got a great deal. I think we only spent like 4,000, like 4,200 on everything. And so we were paying the minimum payments, like knowing that we were gonna fix up the house and flip it a year later and then just pay it off. So we put the house up to sale and all of a sudden I get the statement from my mother-in-law and it was down to like 30, I want to say it was down to like 3500 which obviously $600 in a year is not much, but we were paying minimums. And I checked the statement and it said, um, trying to remember which one we owe more on. Anyways, I checked the statement and it was up to $5,200. And I start freaking out. I'm like, something's not right. And then I was like, well, clearly she just, my mother-in-law just bought something. Um, hold on. I can't spell and <laughs> talk at the same time, apparently. So I look at it and nope. So it was apparently one of those deals, which we did not know that it was interest free for a year. And if you don't pay off the balance, all of a sudden your total total is going to skyrocket all of the back interest, which it did. So now we owe more on the stupid Home Depot card. Ugh, then we started. It, it, ugh, it makes me so mad. I don't even want to talk about it. But our house is up for sale. Hopefully we sell it. Pay it off. Oh, it just makes me so mad, though. Okay, so here's my contacts page. Like I said, I'm going to use this for immediate family, the ones that I'm going to want to send my birthday cards to. So we're going to do... Um, I'm not going to write last names for this video for privacy purposes. It's my mother-in-law and my mom and I'm gonna write <laughs> mom actually we call her mom or ma it drives her crazy um and then I'm gonna write my sister Tammy and Pete and then my other sister Angie and my brother and his wife Lindsay and then I'm gonna do my brother-in-law and sister-in-law I was worried I wouldn't have enough squares for everyone, but I'm going to have plenty. And, uh, yeah. Is that everyone? Holy cow. Amy, P. Oh, because, yeah, I doubled them. Okay, well, that's fine for now. That's all I'm going to do for now, and then I'll uh, go look up their addresses after this is over. But yeah, that's basically, that is my setup. Um, 
I plan on using this, like I said, for everything. I will be doing weekly plans and um, kind of to stay consistent and on track, I plan on doing plan with me's. So that's kind of why I'm starting this channel. Um, I watch them, I love them, and I've always wanted to take the leap, but I never have. Um, I do have an Etsy shop, it's on vacation right now. I'm rebranding, it was called Just Call Me Pretty, and I'm rebranding it to my name, Amanda Wright Plans. Um, just because, yeah, I just need a fresh start. I, need, I just want to kind of try something different. Um, I did great. I did a part-time when I was that year. I stayed home with my kids, but I felt like I needed to do it all. I needed to have all the stickers, all the script, all of the weeklies, all of the monthlies, and it was just like really overwhelming to keep up with. So um, I'm going to re-gear and do what I, what I want, and that is weekly plans, um, monthly plans, and budgeting. So that's what my channel is going to be. I'm going to have my monthly, my weekly, and my budgets. Um, it'll be a twice month budget because I budget by the paycheck. So if that's something that um, is something you want to learn or do, then hopefully that'll help people. I, I know that a lot of the budget channels out there are just a monthly view. Um, but I, like I said, I budget by paycheck. And then, um, as far as my Etsy shop, I'm going to be adding my new listings, um, taking down all the other ones, and just doing budget stickers. Um, I need to start small, and right now, I, I do really enjoy buying Planner Kate stickers, um, so I'm going to be using Planner Kate stickers for my weekly views, and eventually my monthly views. Um, I actually just placed my order, so I have enough weekly to come for the month. I have one already on hand that I'll use for this week. Um, and then I have three more coming. And yeah, I'm just going to kind of see where this takes me, but I'm super excited. Hopefully um, you guys got some good ideas from this video and come back. Thanks. Bye.